Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will share about inside SoFi Stadium. Rams face Los Angeles Chargers for preseason kickoff at SoFi Stadium. The Rams take on the Chargers on Saturday at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California as the home team. The two teams last met in the preseason on August 13, 2022, a 29-22 victory for the Rams at SoFi Stadium. Kickoff for Saturday's game is scheduled for 6 p.m. Pacific Time. Fans in Los Angeles can watch Saturday's game on KABC7, those outside of the Los Angeles area can catch the game on NFL Network. The Los Angeles Rams take on the Los Angeles Chargers for preseason week one at SoFi Stadium. Los Angeles Rams quarterback Stetson Bennett finds fellow rookie wide receiver Puka Nakua for a 17-yard pickup against the Los Angeles Chargers. The Chargers preseason slate is officially underway. The Bolts kicked off preseason play in a familiar place at SoFi Stadium but were the road team against the Rams. Here are quarter-by-quarter -quarter updates from Chargers senior writer Eric Smith. First quarter. The Bolts won the toss and elected to receive. Easton Stick started at quarterback on offense but the unit went three and out on their opening possession. The Chargers defense then stepped on the field and forced a punt despite the Rams taking over near midfield. Rookie Tuli Tupelodu had a pressure before Chris Rumpf 2 tallied a third down sack to bring the Rams out of field goal range. The Bolts got the ball back at their own 9-yard line as Stick led them on a scoring drive with a handful of solid throws. He found Quentin Johnston for 4 yards to move the chains on 3rd and 3, and later hit Donald Parham Jr. for 13 yards and Keelan Doss for 28 yards to get the Bolts into Rams territory. The Chargers' drive was dinged by a holding penalty but Cameron Dicker got the Bolts on the board first with a 50-yard field goal. The Bolts' defense then forced a quick three and out after Jayser Taylor had solid coverage to force an incompletion on a third down pass attempt. The Bolts led 3-0 at the end of the first quarter.